obviously a hard game out there. Uh, the boys held on for the win, so a good result at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, Richmond kept on coming. They play a good brand of football, and um, yeah, we knew they were going to come. Uh, we didn't start well, uh, but we were able to, you know, get the momentum back on our side. And um, you know, coming off a five-day break as well, a few blokes down, uh, it was tough to run the game out. But I thought, yeah, you know, we did it really well. Pretty inefficient first half, but the boys came out in the third quarter and slammed through seven goals. What was the message at halftime? Yeah, I think uh, we were just lacking a bit of connection going in the first half. Um, they were playing you know, quite often. They were getting a bloke behind the ball um, and we were sort of kicking straight to their numbers, making it quite tough for our forwards. Uh, in that second half, I thought we were able to move the ball a lot better. Um, you know, the forwards competed well all night. A couple of good grabs by Tex and JJ and um, you know, the boys got to work on the ground. And Jeroen went really well. Obviously, plenty of footy for Brad Crouch, Matt Crouch, Rolly O'Brien, not giving them first use too. Yeah, yeah, I thought Rob dominated in the ruck and uh, the Crouch boys are Crouch boys. They, uh, they, you know, they're, they're good to their 30 every week. Um, yeah, no, it was, yeah, there's an even, even performance pretty much across the board. You gave him a bit of a stitch up on Instagram leading into the 100th game for Matt. Talk us through that. Oh, I don't know, the stitch up, I was getting around him. Um, you know, he's uh, been one of my best mates since coming over here and um, yeah, I was just happy for him. Um, yeah, he's, he's a ripping fella on and off the field and a um, yeah, great player. Uh, 26 touches for you as well. You must be happy with your own form and how you're going after coming back from that injury. It's been slow. Uh, I haven't been playing the footy that I wanted to, but I thought tonight was a, it was a big step in the right direction and was able to find the ball a little bit better and uh, covering the ground better every game. So uh, yeah, go to the bye and then look to, look to have a big second half of the year. A few injuries though, which is always sort of a disappointing uh, side to football. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously the worst part of sport is the injuries. And um, yeah, I think, you yeah, know, from what I've been told, Josh has done something similar to, to what I've done, but I, you know, obviously we've got to wait for scans, so fingers crossed for him. And you know, Murph's got a new set of chompers, um, so he, he was in a bit of strife there. And um, I'm not too sure about Talia and Jake. So it's uh, the buys come at a good time. We don't play for another couple of weeks, so hopefully uh, we get you know most of those blokes back. And what are your plans for the bye week? Do you plan sort of get away for a bit and uh, re rest and recharge? Yeah, going up to Clare Valley for a couple of days with uh, the Crouches and Rory Atkins and our girlfriends. Um, so just a couple of days up there, visit a couple of wineries, uh, yeah, a few lunches, sort of yeah, take it pretty easy. Beautiful, mate. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much.